Naruto, God Level System Author, Blue Water God. Chapter 66, Sea Level Tasks. Mikoto, I got a bloodline limit. After eating, Kashina said excitedly to Mikoto, you had recovered her strength. Really? What kind of blood follow the limit? After Mikoto heard that, she was also happy for Kashina. Jashina, if you don't want to ruin our house, don't use it at home. Rixianchen said quickly. Just in case Kashina wanted to demonstrate Roxbury fruit on a whim, wouldn't she turn the house into lava? Understood, I have my senses. Kashina assured Rixianchen. Then Kashina stretched out her hand and turned her arm into lava. The surrounding temperature continued to rise. The flammable objects in the living room began to smoke, and then the sofa table and chairs were lit. Kashina, stop quickly, the sofa is on fire. Seeing the situation in the room, Kashina quickly put away the magma, stuck out her tongue, and put out the fire together with Haixianchen and Mikoto. What am I saying, I think we can still tear down the house and rebuild it. Rixianchen looked helpless. Their houses are all made of wood and can't stand the fire at all. Although the flames were quickly extinguished, they are still burning in tatters. Kashina's face was embarrassed because she wanted to show off the ability of the rockberry, and she actually burned the house down. Our family's money doesn't seem to be enough to rebuild the house. Mikoto frowned. Mikoto was in charge of the family's money and knew this very well. Alas, it would be great if there was a wooden dungeon. It would be possible to rebuild a big house in minutes, and it would be strong and durable. Rixianchen sighed. Why don't we take the task and the make money? Kashina weakly suggested. That's the only way. Rixianchen nodded. He couldn't make money by gambling anymore. The most important thing is that without Tsunade, Rixianchen, who knows nothing about gambling, is basically impossible to make a lot of money in the casino. Pack up the things at home, and then repair the holes first, and you won't be able to make money for a while. Now you still have to live in this somewhat dilapidated house. How can you live without repairing it? Go take a mission. It's better to be a mission issued by the rich man. After repairing the house, Rixianchen said with a glint in his eyes. What kind of way to get money quickly, of course, is to rob. It is said that the golden belt is murdered and set on fire, and Rixianchen is ready to rob the rich and help the poor. Anyway, he is not a good person, and there is no burden to do such a thing. What's the difference between making money and making money with strength? Is it worthy of my strong strength? When he came to the place where the task was awarded, Rixianchen frowned and chose. He didn't care about the reward. What he cared about was whether his employer was a fat sheep or not. Chen, are you here to take the mission too? Hearing someone calling him, Rixianchen looked back and saw that it was Minato. There are also Tomoko Yuz Yumaki and Kudao Tangdong of the Kudao family who are following him. It turned out to be Minato. What about your leading teacher? Did you go to the battlefield? Yeah. The teacher left the village yesterday. Long time no see Tomoko. Are you here to pick up the mission? Kashina asked as she walked to Yuz Yumaki Tomoko. Yeah. Kashina, you haven't seen you for a long time. After seeing Kashina, a smile appeared on Yuz Yumaki Tomoko's face. Yo. What day is today? I didn't expect to meet you here, said Yamanakahei in the distance. Behind him, in addition to Akimaki Dingza and Nara Shikaku, there are also members of the group of Nawakis, Hinata Nisarian in Yuzukazu. It's such a coincidence. Rixianchen's mouth twitched. The teacher left Konoa to go to the battlefield. We can only pick up the task ourselves. I didn't expect to meet you by chance. Sheng Shi ran over and said, Nawaki, is your nose cured? Rixianchen teased. Sheng Shi felt embarrassed on his face, turned his head away and didn't want to talk to Rixianchen and exposed his shortcomings as soon as he came up. You little are here to pick up the tasks, let me see what tasks are suitable for you. The uncle from the task management office took out a list and handed it over. The rope set up the horse and brought it over, glanced at it, and threw the list back. Uncle, we are already ninjas, don't let us do these tasks such as weeding, picking manure, and catching wild cats all day long. Sheng Shu said dissatisfied. He is determined to become Hokage. How can he keep doing these tasks that are not on the table? Saving the world and conquering the ninja world is the task of his future Hokage. I have to say that Nawaki has a big heart, but unfortunately, his strength is not enough. Boy, ninjas don't play games, and a newly graduated genin like you should do this kind of task. But looking at so many of you, there is a C-level task here. If you are a partner, I will give this task to you. Sheng Shu became excited when he heard it. C-level tasks are much stronger than D-level tasks. Okay, let's work together. You can quickly give us the task. Sheng Shu did not ask other people's opinions, and answered directly. Rixianchen felt a little dissatisfied, but he wanted to find a big fat sheep to slaughter, but he didn't have time to complete any sea level tasks with Nawaki. Sheng Shu, why did you promise to do it so quickly? Let's take a look at the task first. If it doesn't suit me, I won't cooperate with you to complete this task. This task is to Yamada, a super businessman in the country of rain, to build the country of rain. Generally, there is no danger so I'll leave it to you. Will you take it? Rixianchen's eyes lit up, a super big businessman, wouldn't that be very rich? Afterwards, Rixianchen noticed that something was wrong. If this mission 720 was placed in normal times, it could indeed be regarded as a sea level mission. 
but now it was during the Ninja World War. This kind of task is a bit nonsense. It is not an exaggeration to be considered a B-level task. It is definitely not something that a group of recently graduated genin can complete. Okay, we've accepted this task. Nawaki took the task list and signed his name on it. It doesn't count if you signed it yourself. At least it is valid only if you all sign it, said the uncle who managed the task. Chen, Minato, Luju, all of you are willing to do those D-level tasks. Let's do this C-level task together. Sheng Shi looked at them with pitiful eyes. Let's go to this task. Rick Xiang Chen took the task list and signed his name on it. What the is wrong with him? Anyway, Rick Xiang Chen Yi is bold and bold, and now the most important thing is to make money. Watergate didn't think much about it, and just signed his name. Watergate also had ambitions, and he didn't want to do those tasks of weeding and farm work. When Naro Shikohiza was about to say something, Yamanaka Kaiichi took the task sheet and signed his name on it. Nara Shikohiza gave Heiya a helpless look, making Yamanaka Heiya a little puzzled. Since you have taken over the task, then go to the village early tomorrow to wait for the employer. This is the appearance of the employer. The uncle who sent the task gave Sheng Shu a portrait. Chapter 67 The Tricky Task After graduation, I finally got together. I'll invite you to dinner. Sheng Shu, it looks like you are rich. Yet you dare to invite me to dinner. Yamanaka Heiya looked at Sheng Shu in surprise. There are two big stomach kings in here, and Yamanaka Heiya really wants to know whether Nawaki comes from so much courage. This is all my reward for picking down the day before yesterday, plus my many years of savings, enough to treat you to a meal. Sheng Shu proudly took out his bulging wallet. Nawaki, you guy, you don't want to invite us on purpose. Kashina said angrily. It's okay to ask for a meal. And you have to mention the matter of picking dung. Isn't that disgusting them? No. Sheng Shu scratched his head, wondering why the people around him were staring at him. Let's go. Let's go. Don't talk to the second-hand Nawaki. Haixi Anchen pulled Kashina and Mikoto, and walked towards the barbecue restaurant. Since the Nawaki is a treat, he must be slaughtered and go directly to the best barbecue restaurant in Konoa. Chen, the Raymond shop is over there. You went to the wrong place. Rixi Anchen staggered and almost fell to the ground. I said Nawaki, with your awesome appearance. That is to invite us to eat ramen. Rick Xiangchen said dissatisfiedly. Sheng Shu scratched his head embarrassedly, and then said, The money in my hand, at most, is to invite you to eat ramen. Forget it. Let me treat you. Nara Shikohiza said. It's still Luju's strength. You can tell he is rich by listening to his tone. Rick Xiangchen praised. Chen, you have to be merciful. This is the pocket money I have accumulated for several years. Don't eat it all at once. Nara Shikuji reminded me. To invite the two big stomach kings, Rick Xiangchen and Kudao Dingzu oh. His pressure is not small. After arriving at the barbecue restaurant, Haik Xianchen and Kudao Dingzhe began to order food, and the posture was not polite at all. The corners of Naro Shikohiza's mouth twitched, and he felt a little distressed. After eating and drinking, Naro Shikohiza began to talk about the main topic. Retire the task you received today. This task is obviously wrong. Hearing the words, Nawaki jumped up. No, why don't I feel something is wrong? This is our first sea level mission. How can we give up? That's you. We have already done sea level missions. Jixin Nei I said with a hint of interest. Although Jixin Nei I is very strong, he is only 10 years old, and he likes to show off. Could it be that when you came back from outside the village that day, you just came back from a sea level mission? Sheng Shi had an extremely envious look on his face. I am talking about the tropic now. Nara Shukohiza said helplessly, making everyone's eyes focus on him. They all knew that Luju was smart and wanted to hear what he had to say. This is not a time of peace and the border is already in chaos. As soon as the large army arrives, there will be a full-scale war, and the country of rain is the battlefield. Our task is to people to the land of rain. This is definitely not a C-level task, at least a B-level task, or even an A-level task. It is very dangerous for us without the leadership of Shang Nin. Nara Shukohiza said with a serious face. I finally received a C-level mission. I will not give up. Even if you don't go, I will go by myself. Sheng Shu said unwillingly. Chen. What are your thoughts? Nara Shukohiza looked at Haik Xiangchen. Me? Haik Xiangchen, who was whispering to Mikoto and Kashina, was stunned for a moment, and then said with a smile, I'm definitely going to do a mission. If I don't do it, there's no money to be made, so I can only earn a little money by doing the mission. Tell me something serious. Can you be serious? It's serious. I'll definitely go, but I advise you to think about it. The task this time is indeed not easy, and it is likely to be a conspiracy. Rick Xiangchen glanced at the people present. Since I have taken over the task, I must do it. Minato Namikaze has a firm expression on his face. Oh. Forget it, it's good to have someone to take care of when we go together, but after finding out that something is wrong, don't worry about any tasks and retreat immediately. Nara Shikohiza could only shake his head helplessly. Dot. Early the next morning, Haik Xiangchen, Mikoto, and Kashina came to the entrance of the village together, and Sheng Shu and the others were already waiting here. Chen, 
You are too slow. We've all been waiting here for a long time. Sheng Shu was a little dissatisfied with Rick Xianchen and the other's slowness. What's the use of you being here? You're not waiting here. After finishing speaking, Rick Xianchen and Makoto and Kashina were in love and began to abuse these single dogs. The Nawaki ate a shriveled, and then was forcibly fed a handful of dog food. It was so uncomfortable in my heart. Originally because of the good mood of being able to leave the village, this time is gone. Until after nine o'clock in the morning, a man with a mean face and a short statue came over, accompanied by a few guards. Nawaki took out the portrait and saw that it was the goal of the mission, so he hurried up to meet it. Before Roshu could speak, Yamada Kenji said in a mean tone, You little brats with no long hair, you are the ones who protected me this time. Konoa's ninjas are really getting worse and worse. Next time I will definitely not be in Konoa. Mission released. The pound sign appeared on Nawaki's forehead, and the anger in his heart set his hair on fire. Fortunately, Hiko went up to hold him, otherwise the Nawaki might beat Kenji Yamada who issued the task. Let's go. Go and register. Haixi Anchen pulled Makoto and Kashina and went to the gate to register first. The management of each ninja village is very strict. Entry and exit of the village must be registered, otherwise it is not allowed to leave the village at all. The registration was very fast. After the three of Haixianchen and the others registered, Naroshi Kahisa and Noki also began to register. When Tomoko Yu's Yumaki was around, the ninja guarding the gate stopped. Although the ninja guarding the gate did not know Tomoko Yu's Yumaki, he had seen the portrait of Tomoko Yu's Yumaki. Anbu had already ordered that Tomoko Yu's Yumaki was prohibited from leaving the village and even her portrait was posted. They can leave the village, but you, Asama Chunin, come here, I have something important to tell you. A ninja dressed in black with a fox mask on his face appeared. Seeing the clothes of the person coming, Asama Chunin, who was guarding the door, hurried over. This is from Anbu, who knows if there will be any major incident. A few minutes later, Asama Chunin came back again, and without asking any more questions, he directly applied for a certificate of leaving the village for Tomoko Yu's Yumaki. Rixi Angjin, who seemed listless next to him, narrowed his eyes, and a hint of playfulness flashed in his eyes. Yuzu Maki Tomoko is a human pill of force, and he was able to be released from the village, and Haixi Anchen did not feel that someone was secretly following Yuzu Maki Tomoko. You must know that just yesterday, Haixi Anchen also noticed that Anbu's ninja was watching Yuzu Maki Tomoko, but today there is no more, and he released Ren's Yulai out of the village. It's really interesting. A smile appeared on the corner of Rixi Anchen's mouth. Chapter 68 Attacked Mr. Yamada, why are you sending a sea level mission? The country of rain is not peaceful at this time. Nara Shukahiza slapped sideways. Humphrey, how do you know my status in the country of rain? The name of the country of rain, and the demigods of the ninja world, also depends on my face. Who dares to touch me? I will send you a sea level task to let you get rid of the little thief. Yamada Kenji said arrogantly. Rixi Anchen's eyes sparkled, but he didn't expect it to be a big fish. If this fat sheep is slaughtered, I don't know how long it will last. Chen, what are you doing? There seems to be some ill will in your eyes. Duke Sinai took Rixi Angchen's hand and whispered, Don't we need money? Don't you see that this is a rich person, and even the name has to give face? How much money does this have? Isn't it good for us to rob the rich and help the poor? That's a bit bad. Mikoto said hesitantly after hearing this. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Anyway, I don't like that short fat man, and this guy is not a good person at first glance. This matter is settled, Kashina said with a light in her eyes. The kind Mikoto felt that it was not good to do so but Kashina felt very exciting. Mikoto, do you want to make money so hard? You can see the reward for the tasks. Even if you do hundreds of sea level tasks, it's not enough to renovate the house. We can't take more advanced tasks. This is the fastest 157 way to get money. Rixi Anchen persuaded Mikoto bitterly. We are also doing good deeds. This guy looks like a rich guy. After we get the money, we can use it to help the poor. This is a good deed. Robbing the rich to help the poor, of course, they are the ones who help. Anyway, they are also poor. Is it wrong? Rixi Anchen's crooked reasoning quickly convinced Mikoto and recognized Rixi Anchen's robbing the rich to help the poor. Along the way, Yamada Kenji kept talking about his family history, showing off his huge wealth to show his greatness. Unbeknownst to him, he had been targeted by a greedy wolf. They are now walking in the land of fire, and the journey is very peaceful, there are not even a few thieves. This is also normal. The land of the country of fire is fertile and the climate is mild. As long as you are not too lazy, you can definitely live a good life. As a result, the country of fire has the fewest bandits and bandits in the country. It is precisely because the land of the land of fire is fertile that other countries will spy on the land of fire. In particular, the kingdom of wind and the kingdom of earth are the most difficult. The conditions of these two countries are considered to be the most difficult. The kingdom of earth is relatively good, and the environment of the kingdom of wind is even worse. It's really boring. I didn't even encounter a little thief along the way. Is the sea level mission that simple? Nawaki complained boredly. Sheng Shu, you'd better not be careless or you'll die from carelessness sooner or later. Rixi Anchen shook his head and said. He remembered that Sheng Shu died in a trap, 
maybe it is something to do with Sheng Shu's character. Rouge is very careless, to be honest. He is not suitable to be a ninja, let alone a Hokage. The closer you get to the country of rain, the more humid the air becomes. The climate in Hokage is also quite strange. It rains all year round in a country of rain. Living in the country of rain, you don't see the sun several times a year. Dot. The air on the border of the land of fire, which borders the land of rain, is also very humid, and the rain is also very abundant. It's been eight or nine days, and it's almost here. I knew I wouldn't take this boring task. Nawaki complained. I heard you complaining along the way. I asked if you could give your mouth a break. I've been listening to Nawaki complaining all the time these days, and Nawaki's teammate in Yuzukazu was a little annoying. Be careful, there are enemies. Rixiangchen reminded faintly. As soon as Rixiangchen finished speaking, two shadows flashed past and attacked Tomoko Yuzumaki. Who dares to attack Tomoko? Kashina let out a sweet cry, and then appeared in front of Tomoko as quickly as possible. The hands turned into fiery lava and the surrounding temperature continued to rise. Lava fist. The fists that turned into lava hit the past, and one of them was punched through the chest by Kashina, and at another critical moment, he escaped the disaster by relying on a substitute technique. Everything was between lightning and flint, and when others looked over, they saw a corpse with a melted chest, and a man in black in the distance. Looking at this corpse, including the calm Namikaze Ace Minato, and the wise Nara Shikohiza, his face turned pale. This was the first time they faced a corpse especially a corpse whose chest was melted by magma and exuded a burnt smell. It was good that they didn't spit it out. Ouch! Yuzu Maki Tomoko couldn't help it, and spit it out. Next, the chain phenomenon was triggered by Tomoko Yuzu Maki, and the others also vomited. Although they were already mentally prepared, after seeing it, they still couldn't bear it in their hearts, and just wanted to vomit. Tell me, who are you? You actually attacked us. Kashina's expression turned cold. After the last mission, Kashina and Mikoto have transformed and they will not show mercy at all when facing the enemy. Looking at his ninja forehead guard, he seems to be from Yuran village, but forehead guards can be obtained as long as you use snacks. Nara Shukahiza wiped his mouth and said after calming down, Rixianchen didn't speak. In fact, he had already guessed who the other party was. This kind of dark breath like a mouse in the ground was undoubtedly a person from the root organization. This can also explain why Yuzumaki Tomoko was able to leave the village. This guy Danzo obviously wants to attack the nine-tailed man's Yulai, which is not surprising for Rixianchen. This guy Danzo has been peeping at the powerful force. And the power of the Nine Tails is basically the strongest power in the ninja world, and his idea of hitting the Nine Tails is not surprising at all. The person who issued the mission before, and the people from Anbu later, are all people from Danzo, but why is there no dark atmosphere in the root organization? Rixianchen was very puzzled. What Rixianchen didn't know was that only ninjas who had undergone special training at their roots had a dark aura. The black-clothed ninja did not speak, and looked at Kashina silently without the slightest emotional fluctuation over the death of his companion. Since you don't say it, then you will die for me. Magma flow. The hot magma spurted out of Kashina's mouth and rushed towards the black-clothed ninja, and all the places touched by the magma were melted by the hot magma. Kashina's ninjutsu is so special. This should be the bloodline limit. Nara Shukohiza knew more. What is the limit of blood following? Kudao Dingshuo asked curiously as a scumbag. There are two kinds of boundaries of blood. One is the ability of a certain organ of the body that is different from ordinary people, and the other is the fusion of two kinds of chakra properties. Nara Shikaku explained to Akito Dingzu chapter 69 more than 10 billion in hand. That's right, right. Akai Ainzu clan has the limit of blood, which is the strongest escape technique, Mu Dun. If I can awaken Mu Dun, I can definitely become Hokage. Sheng Shu said yearningly. Sheng Shu, who told you that the blood descendant of your Kai Ainzu clan is the limit of the wood? Nawaki looked at Rixi Angchen strangely. This is recognized by the whole ninja world, is there something wrong? Of course not. Except for the first Hokage, who of your entire Kaienzu clan can awaken Mu Dun, your Xi boundary, like the Vortex clan, are all immortal bodies. Rixianchen explained lightly. How did you know, Chen? Nara Shikohizu asked suspiciously. He didn't know this. He also thought that the Xi boundary of the Kaienzu family was Mu Dun. This is what I know from reading the information. Throughout the history, you Kaienzu clan awakened Mu Dun, and there is only one person. That is the first Hokage. That's why Mu Dun is just the first generation's blood successor boundary, not the blood successive boundary of your Kai Ainzu clan. It doesn't mean that you can't awaken Mu Dun, but it's difficult. Rixianchen can't say that this is what I know from watching anime, and can only shirk it to check the information. In fact, the Mu Dun among the thousand hand pillars should be regarded as the elimination of Xi, water, soil, and the vitality endowed by Yang Dun. Yamato's one is the limit of Mu Dun's Xi. During the time that Haixianchen and the others were talking, Kashina had already dealt with another ninja. Chen, I'm amazing. Duke Sunai proudly raised her chest towards Rixianchen. It's just two little thieves at the Chunin level. That's pretty powerful. Rixianchen waved his hands in disgrace. Kashina's cheeks immediately bulged, 
a little unhappy. Chen, you idiot, you don't know how to praise others. Duke Sinai said dissatisfiedly. Praise you? If you want me to praise you, say it earlier. Jashina, you are so strong. You punched Lin Daoban, kicked Kaguya, and even Lin Dao immortal shivered when he saw you. Rixianchen said with a teasing. Although Gashina didn't know who the six path Madara and Kaguya Ji were mentioned by Rixianchen, but she knew who the six path immortal was, and the compliment to Rixianchen was very useful. It's too exaggerated. It's actually a joke about the legendary character of the Six Path Immortals. Sheng Shu spit out. What's the exaggeration? When a Six Paths Immortal pops out and pretends to force me, I will call him to death for you to see. This is Rick Xianchen's true thoughts. Anyway, he feels that the old man Lidao Immortal is very pretentious and must you have to slap him in the face, otherwise it will be different from salted fish. Six Path Immortals is just a legend, what do you call us? Sheng Shu looked at Rick Xianchen disdainfully thinking that he was pretending to be forceful. As long as you don't die, you can definitely wait until that day. Sun Xianchen patted Ruzki on the shoulder, then turned to look at Kenji Yamada. You don't seem nervous at all? I, why should I be nervous? Aren't you protecting me? Yamada Kenji said hesitantly in the face of Hai Xianchen's sharp eyes. Rick Xianchen gave him a deep look, and then said, I hope so. Rick Xianchen is sure that this guy is definitely related to Anzang, or that he is a chess piece in Anzang's hands. You have to figure out that I am the employer. What is your attitude? Believe it or not, I will complain to you. Yamada Kenji said arrogantly. Rick Xianchen turned his head and stared at him with icy, ruthless blue eyes. The endless chill enveloped Kenji Yamada, making him fall into an ice cellar. After a while, Rick Xianchen looked away. At this time, Yamada Kenji suddenly breathed a sigh of relief, and then he was honest and didn't even dare to look at Rick Xianchen. After half a day, Rick Xianchen and the others finally entered the country of rain, smelling the rotten breath in the air. Rick Xianchen felt unhappy for a while. The perennial rain has caused all the branches and leaves of the trees to rot, and the odor emitted is absolutely unpleasant. The country of rain, like a cursed country, weeps every day, Rick Xianchen said with emotion. As he stood on the hillside, Duke Sinai pouted. She knew Rick Xianchen very well, and knew that Rick Xianchen was pretending to be emotional. This country is so chaotic, everyone we saw had a numbness on their faces. Mikoto said softly, I've been reduced to a battlefield, can I not be chaotic? Now I can understand Hanzo. Anyone who is bullied like this must fight back. The land of rain during World War II, it can be said that a small country, against three powerful countries, has not been destroyed. It is already very remarkable. However, in this period, the kingdom of rain was not as good as other countries in terms of its background, and other countries were not inferior to the five major countries. You three don't care about me, hurry up. I'm really fed up with this weather. Sheng Shu shouted to Rick Xianchen and the three of them. It took five days to hide and avoid all the ninjas, and finally completed this mission. What? I worked so hard to bring him back but we didn't even let us in, Kashina said angrily. After that Yamada Kenji returned home. He immediately drove Hai Xianchen and the others away. That's right, this person is so unreal, he's still a big businessman. Don't talk about it, let's find a hotel to stay in. The rain is getting heavier and heavier. After finding a hotel, Rick Xianchen and his group temporarily rested here. The rain outside was getting heavier and heavier, and they could not leave for the time being. Due to the lack of rooms in the hotel, Hai Xianchen, Mikoto, and Kashina lived in one room. Didn't you say that you want to rob the rich to help the poor? Let's go. That Yamada Kenji dared to drive us out. I don't want to make him look good. Kashina thought of Yamada Kenji's face and wanted to get angry. No need. Before, I let the Shadow Clone go. It's estimated that it won't be long before the Shadow Clone will come back. When sending Kenji Yamada home, Haixianchen used the Shadow Clone without everyone knowing, and now it is estimated that he is about to succeed. Half an hour later, Rixianchen's Shadow Clone came to the hotel, through a scroll to Rixianchen and then disappeared into smoke with a touch. Let's see how much money we have, is it enough for us to renovate the house? Kashina hurried over, and Mikoto came over curiously. There are too many, this room can't be opened, but at least there are more than 10 billion dollars. More than 10 billion, how much does it cost? Dukes and I couldn't imagine. Even Mikoto, who had no idea about money, was also shocked by the numbers that Rixi Yangchen said. Murder and set fire to the golden belt. This sentence is not wrong. Fortunately, Yamada Kenji likes to keep money at home. If it is stored in the bank, Rixianchen will have to work hard. Yamada Kenji was also slaughtered by Hayugatsin's shadow clone, and he also burned his mansion. This is a real murder and arson. Chapter 70 The Furious Saruto Hezaki. After staying in the hotel for several days, Nawaki felt like it was going to get moldy. What kind of bad weather is this? It's been raining for three days, and it hasn't decreased at all. Seeing the pouring rain. Nawaki said impatiently, it's useless for you to be anxious, the weather in the country of rain is so up, if it doesn't rain for 10 days in a year, it's already burning high in sense, Mikoto and Kashina rubbed their shoulders, I don't know why, I want to beat you when I see you like this, Sheng Shu said through gritted teeth, same feeling, if you fight, 
Count me as one, the winner of all evil in life. Women are a problem at all. I really don't know what you are envious of. Hai Xiangchen looked at Nara Shaku Iza, who didn't know what to do, with an expression of admiration on his face. He dared to say such a thing. Dot. Sure enough, Gushina behind Hai Xiangchen smashed Nara Shikaku out with a punch. How dare you look down on our women, who of you dares to look down on our women, and you have the ability to say it. Kashina pointed to Nawaki, Hinata Rizari. Minato Namikaze and others. No one dared to say a word. The classmates have been aware of Kashina's violence for many years. Many people have been beaten by Kashina when they were in school, and before, Kashina killed two not weak ninjas in an instant, and one of them didn't even leave a corpse, and now I feel terrified just thinking about it. Humphrey, a bunch of cowards. Kashina walked behind Rick Xiangchen and squeezed his shoulder obediently. Sheng Shu and the others immediately looked at Rick Xiangchen with admiration, and they really admired how Kashina could be so obedient. Rick Xiangchen's face was calm, facing the envious and admiring eyes of Sheng Shu and others. The surface was light and cloudy, but the darkness in his heart was extremely cool. Rick Xiangchen and the others are relatively leisurely in the land of rain, and Konoa has already exploded. What are you doing to eat? You can't even see a nine-tailed human's Yulai who told you to let him out of the village. Sarutobi has roared furiously. This was the first time he was so angry since he became Hokage. Konoa's most important strategic weapon, the Ninetales human Zulai, left the village, and he, the Hokage, didn't know how to not get angry until more than ten days later. Lord Naruto, after we were stunned, we were trapped. Even if we wanted to tell Lord Naruto, there was nothing we could do. Lord Hokage, it was Anbu who asked me to release Tomoko Uzumaki out of the village. I, okay, let's go. Sarutobi his and let them leave in dismay. Danzo, you have gone too far this time. Sarutobi his and roared angrily. The whole Konoa can do such a thing without him, only Danzo. After holding his breath for a long time, Hayaruzen Sarutobi called the deputy minister of Anbu and asked him to lead Anbu to find Tomoko Uzumaki, at all costs. Originally the most suitable person should be the minister of Anbu Hatake Sakumo, but Hatake Sakumo has already gone to the border to guard, and can only be handed over to the deputy minister of Anbu. After the explanation, Sarutobi his and angrily went to the route to find Danzo to settle the account. Sarutobi, what are you doing here at my roots? Now the situation at the border is getting less and less optimistic. You are still thinking about it. You are not worthy of being a Hokage. Yes, yes, I'm not suitable to be Hokage. Are you suitable? Sarutobi Hibiki was dazed. Of course, it would be a mistake for the teacher to hand over the position of Hokage to you. If I become Hokage, I can definitely dominate the ninja world. Danzaku said shamelessly. Sarutobi his and laughed angrily. I'm not talking nonsense with you. What's going on with the nine-tailed man Zulai? What is the nine-tailed human bill of force? Danzo pretended to be dumbfounded. Don't pretend to be stupid for me. You dare to say that you didn't do it when the nine-tailed man Zulai left the village. Sarutobi his and roared. What? Danzo slapped the table stood up abruptly, pointed at Sarutobi Hizun, and said, you actually let the Nine Tailsery leave the village, do you know the importance of the Nine Tailsery, I want to convene the elders group in Pichu, Danzo, Sarutobi Hizun's voice increased several times again, he came to ask for an explanation, but he didn't expect Danzo to deny it, even if he didn't admit it, don't force me to dissolve the root organization, Sarutobi Hizun said coldly, this time Danzang was blown away, and he pointed to the sky with anger and said, don't forget, Without me helping you secretly solve the previous elders, you didn't even have the position of Hokage, and now you want to cross the river and demolish the bridge. Hayaruzen Sarutobi was at a loss for words. He did not leave Danzo's help at the beginning. Although Danzo was for his own benefit, it did help him. I can tolerate other things, but you have to explain to me about the Nine Tails. Although he felt that he owed Danzo, the Nine Tails couldn't give in. I don't know, you hurry up and get the Nine Tailed Man's Yulai back or I don't mind uniting the elders and impeach you together. Danzo couldn't get in the oil and salt at all, so Sarutobi Hizun came in a huff, and then left in a huff. After Sarutobi Hizun left, Danzo thought about it for a long time, and then said, Blood Eagle, hurry up in front of Sarutobi Hizun, and bring back the nine-tailed humans you lie as soon as possible. Those two wastes have not come back yet, something must have happened. Now, if you can't do a little thing well, it's up to you next. Yes, Danzo's armor. A ninja wearing a blood red eagle mask came out of the dark and left quickly. Humphrey, after I take control of the nine tailed man's pillar power, the position of Naruto will be in my pocket. By then, the entire ninja world will surrender to Konoa. Look at Sarutobi. I want to prove that I am stronger than you. Danzo's eyes flashed with fiery light, and he had been peeping at the position of Hokage for a long time. In the eyes of Tuan 3.6 Zhang, he became Hokage, but he was much stronger than Hyaruzen Sarutobi. In Danzo's view, Hayaruzen Sarutobi was too cowardly. If he had become Hokage at the beginning, Konoa would definitely be a hundred times stronger than now, and maybe the ninja world has been unified. If Rixianchen knew what Danzo was thinking, he would definitely laugh out loud. 
and what he said without self-knowledge was Danzo. If Danzo had really become Hokage, there would be no Konoa village by now. Konoa is indeed the strongest ninja village, but after losing Senju Hasuma and Yuakai Hamadara, Konoa is no longer invincible. If the other major ninja villages really work together, destroying Konoa can definitely be done. If he becomes Hokage according to Danzo's aggressive character, he may force other Shinobi villages to join forces and directly destroy Konoa village. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.